Look who's here. Thank you. Ow. Hello. Guys, I'm having people over for dinner for the first time and I never host. Like in my whole life, I've never been a hoster because I've always lived in a tiny apartment or never liked my space and bring steak knot. Someone just ordered something. Someone got seven things. matches my shirt and I didn't match it on purpose, but it is something that I would do. So watch me set up my kitchen island, which is also my dining table, because I chose to not have a dining table area and chose to just get a giganto island. And tell me if this is weird. So see how like these chairs, people have this ledge where you can sit and it can only sit four people, but there's more people coming and they're gonna have to sit here. So they're gonna have to be like, ow, ow. They're gonna have to be like this with the chair. So let me know if that's weird. But like, don't understand. Anyways, watch me set up now. And I'm making a charcuterie board. I a charcuterie board for the first time in my life. And I'm 29 and I've never made one before. And look at all the stuff I got. Look at these. Ooh, look at this. I'm not eating those. Those are for the guests. Mm, it smells so good though. I don't even have enough plates that match. So I have these with these like this and then like normal flat plates. And I wanted to get gold utensils, but I've read that they aren't dishwasher safe. And then I bought them and then I opened them and the note inside the utensils, the gold ones said, for all colored stainless steel, we recommend to hand wash. So there goes my gold utensil dream. Um, I had to text Jeff to bring steak knot. <gasps> Someone just ordered something. Someone got seven things. Sarah from New South Wales, Australia. She got a scrunchie holder. She got a Daisy, Kira, two Margos, one Charlotte, and an Amelia XXL scrunchie. And that's the last Amelia. The Amelia is one of the limited edition ones and I found one today and I made it and restocked it and she got it. That is amazing. This is what the Amelia looks like. Thanks Sarah from Australia. Sarah from Australia. charcuterie before so um, I really relied on Pinterest for this. I'm gonna literally put this in front of me so I can make my art piece. Step one, the cheese. I got this cheese and I got two things of brie. Okay. 
Oh, I peeled it wrong. See, I'm not a cheese eater. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing. Why is there suddenly no counter space? Why did people do this? Oh my god, it's coming to life. Time. This is fun, it's like making art. I love that people cut like a little like teaser piece away from the brie. Step two is the fruits, I guess. I don't know. I don't have any jams in that stuff because I'm not a jam person, so that was really out of my element, the jam. Getting jams. Not my thing. having nuts and it's so good already. I wish I had more tiny bowls. I don't have any more tiny bowls. I'm just building a little raspberry castle. My mom cuts the carrots for me. These are leftover carrots from work and I don't even care. My mom cuts the chunky carrots for me in half because I don't like them to eat them big. I like small. I need to get a scrunchie and the, and the phone charger. This is what it looks like so far. And there's my inspo. Okay, we're back. Um, I have to put you guys here now because I should get the meat on here. What do you do with it? You just roll it? I have no idea, this is so not my element right now. Um, oh, I know, I need to get some crackers up in here. Veggies need to go on their own tray. So. This is hard. Props to the charcuterie businesses out there. I could never, full time. Charcuterie is an art and I don't got those skills yet. Hopefully one day. There we go. I need two hands to do this, sorry guys. Does anyone else wear gloves when they do the dishes? Because my hands get so dry when I don't. 